Today is Friday, January the 13th, 2013. I'm going to uh, document this little antenna right here. All it really is is a, uh, a two meter quarter wave whip, but it actually performs quite well at, um, at uh, 70 centimeters too. And I'm going to use this little uh, Times Technology Vector Impedance Analyzer. We'll go in the get in the truck and I'll show you how this thing is uh, this thing actually performs quite well on both uh, two meters and 70 centimeters so let's go in the truck okay what I have here is this little uh, antenna scanner again I'll show you uh, after we do this how it uh, it does scan I'll put it on the spectrum analyzer and you'll be able to see it but uh, I'm gonna put it down here in uh, sweep frequency plot and start it. Now I'm going to do SWR. First of all, I'll start out with 100 megahertz. And the way this works is you see a little plot there. You can change the scale. We're on 3 now. Let's go to 10, if it looks a little better. There, that's kind of interesting. I hope that's coming out clear. So we're, our, the frequency uh, it's, it's scanning from 100 to 170 megahertz and right now our line is over here at 100 but if I press and hold this you'll see that vertical line coming across and at a low point right there our SWR is 1.2 so it's almost perfect there's its SWR at that frequency 141 megahertz 42, 3, 4, 5 146 megahertz. It went up to jump to 47. 146 megahertz to 1.44. So it's actually quite good here on the uh, two meter band. Less than one and a half all the way across it. Okay, so we got a good match at two meters. Now let's go up to the uh, high band, 400 megahertz. Let's go there. See, there's our 400, and then we scan our at 400 megahertz at 3.57 but we're going to move our line over to about oh, 440 well let's see there's 440 there's 440 so up to 70 centimeter band it's 1.38 so this thing works great uh, of course if it's quarter wave at um, at two meters it's going to be three quarters of wave at the 70 centimeter band so it makes sense so this without any loading coils there, there's nothing up there but uh, that antenna it's just a little 19 inch piece of uh, of wire so it works great at uh, at both bands pretty amazing let's see this thing uh, also does some very interesting things that was SWR plot uh, Oh, okay, now we're at this. We're going to do a sweep frequency here, same as again, and this time we'll go to phase angle, which is pretty interesting. And we're up at the 400. And okay, now we don't see anything because we probably got to change the scales. So we press the our button over here and let's move that up to 30. See what we see there. Yeah, it's it's getting there. 100. Let's go to, th whoops, that's not what I want to do. I don't want to align with, I pressed it too many times. Okay, 100, let's go to 300. There we go. <clears throat> so where the, um, the phase angle changes sign is, see I'm going to scroll over here. There it is up there at 127 megahertz. And then again, way over here, 427, excuse me. And then again over here, about 460. That's where its resonance points are. Right there, 428 and about 460. Now if we go to the low band, 100 megahertz, let's see what we have down there. Well, that's kind of weird. 
Oh, let's see what we have here. Scale. Oh. Begin. Yeah, that's what we want. Okay, it says here, we scroll over to where the, uh, the phase angle changes sign. We see that it's resonant about 121 megahertz. We have some little glitches right in here at 140, which is probably where we would be operating. Looks like there's some other kind of a funny point at that 156 megahertz. So that's the phase angle plots of it. Let's see, let's go see what else it does here. Here's our impedance. Let's check this out. It says, uh, let's check it, uh, scroll back over to about 140. 6 megahertz or so. So it's about 41 ohms. 46 ohms. That's 145. 146 megahertz. Says it's 41 ohms. Looks like it's rising slightly. There at 144 megahertz says it's 52 ohms. It probably does have some reactants in it and we can measure that too. And the reactants would be measured uh, right here. And we need to change our scale again so we can see it better. And then let's go down to 100. There we go. And at 144 megahertz, it says it has uh, a reactance of minus 19 ohms. Minus meaning that it's capacitive reactance. If it was a plus, or no sign there, which would imply plus, it would be uh, uh, inductive. So it's a little bit capacitive. It is 50 ohms with a little bit of capacitance at 144 megahertz. Okay, last test here. Let's go up to the high band. Let's go to the 400 megahertz region. And at about 100, and let's say about 400 and 440 megahertz or so. Let's see what it says, its reactance is. It says it's 61 ohms with uh, 11 ohms of reactance, which is positive. It says it's inductive. So it's a little bit inductive up there. But it's not bad. Actually, the antenna will perform quite well at both uh, 2 meters and 70 centimeters. And this little device uh, shows us why. Hope this helps. And uh, lastly, what, uh, what this little thing is actually doing, this display right here is, uh, doesn't have any purpose, but I've got it hooked up here to a, uh, a spectrum analyzer, except it just powered itself off. All right, back on. And uh, okay, so it comes up in single frequency. I'll go down to sweet frequency plot. Enter that, and we'll scan SWR again. Okay, right now we're scanning 400 to 470 megahertz, and here is what it's doing. You can see it scanning over. So I'm starting at 400 megahertz. Uh, 10 megahertz per division, so there's no use in going through and getting and measuring it all because it actually is it actually is uh, doing that. And then if we uh, change it down here to uh, 100 megahertz, so it went to 100 right there, but it's scanning 100 to 170. We'll have to turn our uh, spectrum analyzer down here to 100. Uh, there's 100 right there. And you can see it uh, scrolling across there. So it's sweeping. The output is approximately 0 dBm. You can see that it does change a bit. That's not important. Pretty cool. Um, and lastly, let's see, let's go back here to um, single frequency and say enter. Well, that's not right. Single frequency. Maybe my batteries are getting weak. Single frequency. Okay, it's actually at 444 megahertz, and our readout is 444 megahertz right there. And we look at it down here. We're just going to see the same thing. 440. There you go. This is not. This can't be read to the precision of this, of course. But the point being is uh, its uh, frequency readout is quite accurate. We go to 156 megahertz, say.
There it is. 156. There it is. 156. So it's pretty accurate. And, but we're not sweeping now. So th th this is spectral display. is uh, not important. But there you go. I'm just having a lot of fun with this thing at uh, VHF and UHF uh, regions. Wish I had one that did the same thing for uh, the HF region. It's all for fun. Sure, it, can't get enough of this stuff. Hope you enjoy it.